So, all right, we might as well might as well get going. Uh, first order of business is, is the approval of minutes. Uh, Gail took the minutes at the last meeting. Thank you. I think they were all sent around to, to everyone. Mm -hmm. Are there any corrections, additions, or omissions? <clears throat> Do we have a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Hmm? Motion to approve. Second. Motion to make and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed. Um, I got several emails from, from uh, Jason, but there was also another email, another letter actually in the uh, uh, in our inbox that I picked up just now. It says, uh, <clears throat> to whom it may concern, I, Jason Pecorelli, Pecorelli hereby resi resign from the following committees, Historical Commission, Historic District Commission, Lincoln and Green Preservation Committee, and Community Preservation Committee. And his statement was that he been on all of these for 10 years and he thought it was time to move on so it's too bad I feel like he he was a productive member and you now he was committed to all his committees it's a shame he wasn't yeah it, it is I will send him an email thanking him for his service and, and uh, go from there I will discuss that with the historical commission the next time we meet um, Technically, I'm an at-large member, and Jason was the historical appointment. Um, they may choose to do something different, whether they choose to make me the historical appointment. That may make an at-large seat available, or but I'm not going to... We well, I'll have that discussion with the Historical Commission when I get there. Okay, that'll be good. Kevin, who's still on that Historic Commission who's left? Uh, Savory... Um, Peg Blackwell, Jim Phillip, Dave Wainio, Ellen, Ellen uh, Smith, myself. Okay. I think that's it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, <clears throat> old business, ongoing projects. Elementary school fields, they, they, they've been accepted. Um, they have not been accepted yet. They're close to being accepted. Um, the, uh, I think everyone knows that they were delayed uh, for a while, so the contractor still has an obligation to it. But the answer to the question is no, they haven't been officially accepted. Okay. Shortly. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, update on the ball fields playground project. Jim, do you want to give that? Do you want to give an update on that? Either way. You want to start? <laughs> um, so, um, as everyone knows, this project um, uh, was, you know, in, as well as the police station, delayed because of the lawsuit that happened uh, for a couple months. Uh, that being said, is that uh, we have been making uh, great progress on the playground. Um, from the standpoint of the first phase of the project was to start with the parking lot. Um, the drainage structures have all put, put into the parking lot and um, the, re, uh, the, mill, the millings have been put down and that's all been compacted and ready to go. Uh, we still have the handicap uh, spots to address there as well as some barriers that we're gonna be putting in there for crossing and some stones, curb stones, to kind of show where there's going to be parking spots that are in there. So that'll have to be delineated in there. Um, from there, uh, moving forward with the ball fields, um, we found out that there were uh, four ball fields, uh, not two. Um, apparently one had been built on top of the other one, uh, which is one of the reasons it was causing a lot of the drainage issues. Uh, so that was... Um, uh, removed down by about, uh, I think about five feet mm -hmm. of material was taken out of there. Because uh, again, it was a field built on a field, so yeah, it wouldn't drain. Exactly. And all new material has been brought in uh, to, to, to fix that. Um, the field closest to Town Hall has been connected to the underground drainage system that now wraps around the whole complex. And the field closest to um, 
dandies is uh, going to be done either today or tomorrow um, to have that irrigation connected. Uh, so you're going to have drainage from both of those. Uh, with that, um, the drainage between the two fields wrapping all the way over to the school administration building, that has been completed. Uh, so that is uh, finalized um, from a drainage standpoint that that underground drainage structure has all been put in. So a lot of the underground work has been done. Uh, most of the underground conduit has been installed as well. Uh, so um, again, much of the underground infrastructure has been done. We have not begun the irrigation at this point, uh, but it has been determined that it is more cost effective to abandon all the irrigation that was there um, and move forward with um, uh, putting in new irrigation. It's also been analyzed that the way the existing well that was functional was connected wasn't properly utilizing the capacity of the well. Uh, so the belief is right now we can that one well can supply the whole irrigation process. So that'll actually save us some money uh, throughout here. So there's been a lot of what you're gonna see with a project like this that we're managing ourselves and being the, the general contractor of the project and having is that you know where some things are going over, others are going under, and we're also getting donated materials. So where I'm talking about we don't have to put in a second well that we had planned on, well that money is going to need to be reallocated to some other components of the project. Just as uh, digging down the six feet to remove the, the, uh, the infield, um, you know, was more than was anticipated for, but we got donations of material to do that. Just as we got uh, reduced prices for some of the millings, and uh, we've been able to get the labor on the project at a reduced rate um, also, which is again helping save money throughout here. We've had a lot of donations, we've had a lot of trucking done for free. Uh, we've had uh, Kill Lopes uh, has donated um, um, dozens of, um, of tractor trailers full of washed stone uh, for the project. Um, so not only does Carver drain well, it, this site's going to drain really well mm. uh, when it's all said and done. Uh, we did uh, also increase the tree removal area that we did behind the ball fields, uh, particularly the ball field closest to Dandies. Uh, as we went out there, we found out that a bunch of the trees were diseased. Some of the old pines, they were rotten in the middle. Uh, so um, after we had the contractor do the police station, while he was already mobilized there, we had him remobilize over on this site and he took down a bunch of the material behind there which is actually going to make the walkway better behind the fields and um, it's probably going to reduce some of our mosquito issues in the future and Tripoli is a big issue in town so anything we can do to help mitigate that we're doing it. Um, we had hoped to install uh, some of the equipment uh, earlier in October that hasn't happened yet uh, we're looking at a November timetable for installing the equipment uh, we're looking um, also uh, either very, very late October, which is next week, uh, or in early October to put in the sidewalks uh, throughout the whole site. Um, and where we're going to be, um, where we're going to have some issues with moving the project forward is with um, putting down the, the resilient surface. Uh, the resilient surface requires a period of a minimum of 24 hours where it's 40 degrees and above. So uh, again, giving everything was pushed back. Um, um, we had hoped to have that done in October, but uh, there have been some delays. Um, and you know, unless we get a heat wave coming through in December that uh, is forecast appropriately, um, it's most likely, as we've discussed with the Recreation Committee, that we'll have the playground all installed, ready to go, um, and the fencing all, well, we'll do the fencing after the, the rubber's down, uh, but we'll be in a position to actually um, have everything done but for um, uh, the fourth phase and also the, um, the resilient surface, the rubberized surface. So that's most likely going to have to wait until the spring. Um, when I say the fourth phase, uh, the fourth phase had the bathrooms that were in there as well as, um, I need my glasses because I'm blind now, 
Um, uh, the fourth phase had in, um, oh, here we go. That had the irrigation upgrades. Um, it had the, the new well. Uh, again, the new well is going to be reallocated, uh, but it also had uh, funding for the concessions and toilet upgrades. So those, those are probably going to wait to the spring, too, because we don't want to run water through that building at that time. Um, and that, that's all weather dependent as well. Um, so that's, that's kind of where we stand. Um, there's been uh, some design modifications as we go through it. Um, the equipment, um, about 75% of the equipment has uh, come in. Uh, we're waiting for uh, the big rock of Gibraltar to come in. Um, um, and, and unfortunately, just can't, can't go to a corner and find a rock because in the rock has to have smooth corners and this, that, and that thing for the kids to play on, which basically means it's not a rock, it's a manufactured structure that looks like a rock. So lookout rock will be there, and uh, that's one of the big things the uh, committee wants. Um, and um, yeah, so that's where we are for equipment being installed, I mean, coming in. Um, and the only other thing we're not sure we're going to be able to get in, uh, we think we are, but it all depends upon the company that's providing the sod, is whether or not they're still going to have sod left in their farm mm -hmm. to harvest when we need it, or they're going to have to wait till the next year. So uh, we, we, I mean, we can put sod down in November, there's nothing wrong with that uh, from Sodco, uh, but we have to... Um, to uh, to, to make sure that it's down tight and there's no air getting under it and then still try to keep it wet to the extent we can. So um, beyond that, um, any major issues? No, there's no major issues that are there, um, you know, but for it is um, moving forward in the schedule we're talking about. The equipment in the installation is coming in around $220,000. Um, that is, is all in process, um, and, and with that, um, that does take up um, the majority of, um, it, well, actually before I get into to any of the financing stuff, are there any questions or that people have, or did I miss anything, Jim? I think you, you guys still need to pick out colors for um, couple things and uh, for the resilient surface I think that's probably about the last action item um, when we did do the deconstruction of the existing playground uh, we were able to save the equipment that we had anticipated saving uh, so that has been moved to to the um, inside the fire station uh, in doing so too we uh, then gave that back to the recreation committee and they were able to donate that to um, one of the campgrounds in town who donated, I think, a couple thousand dollars. Uh, so the Recreation Committee is moving forward with donations, uh, cash donations or other in-kind donations, and I think they're going to be selling bricks as well. Correct. And letters have gone out to businesses and I believe on social media, if anyone wants bricks to donate, uh, we've gone out to businesses as well for donations, and those are starting to come in now. Is there a deadline for that? We can take money anytime. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember the deadline for the brick order. Oh, the brick order? Oh, the brick order? I have, um, I'm not sure we're there yet on the brick order. Nope, does it? Jim, uh, Jim, you weren't here last time, were you? No. Okay. Mary brought these last okay. time. Does that have a deadline or when they want to buy? I don't think, I don't think so. I don't think she mentioned it last time. Yeah, I, don't, I don't believe we have a deadline. As soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll take money anytime. <laughs> Anything else come up from the uh, committee at all? Mm -hmm. well, thank you. So we're ready to pick the call for the Now, um, when the committee did go forward and pick out some of the equipment, I think there might be a couple extra pieces that were added to it uh, from what we originally looked at. Um, after, And that was based upon input from all the kids in town. Uh, that there were a couple couple items that, uh, that needed to be done. And, um, you know, when we look at the port in place, there's different colors that come down here, and that's what we're just trying to, to work on right now as to which way to make that happen. But, again, until you can get the right weather to come in there, it doesn't really make a difference as to what happens. So, um, 
So that's that's the project. Um, and what I'd like to do now is now um, just kind of quote a few things here. Unless there's any more questions, go right to this. Okay. Um, so when. <coughs> So as everyone remembers, uh, when uh, this project was moved forward, um, there was obviously some controversy with it. And uh, some people um, did not want um, the uh, old playground to be torn down, and there were some lawsuits, and there were some attempts to try to um, determine what really the majority of the people wanted in town. And in this committee, and it was done for political reasons and for the right reasons, uh, some people felt that on the committee they wanted to give people a choice as to what they were going to vote on. And with that, the project was broken down into four categories. Playground, parking area, infields, and other site improvements. And the original estimate uh, for the entire project, which is actually in fact this so I can pull this out, um, was for $747,000. That's what the estimate was uh, for the project. And, and with that, that did include a 5% general conditions, which is kind of what you pay the contractor to do, so we're doing that ourselves, saving that amount of money. And also it had a 10% contingency tied into it. Um, and um, as we look through the funding of the CPC, uh, it was determined that uh, the $747,000 was not something the, recre the committee wanted to fully fund, um, but they were willing to fund $600,000. And as we went through that, uh, there were three buckets. Um, bucket one was uh, the largest bucket at the time was... Um, and this is important because I'm going to come back to this. So, at the at the time that was 336. No, that was it was more than that. It was 300 because you had there the 10 percent in there. It was 386 thousand dollars was the um, the playground area. Um, the parking was 136 thousand. The next smallest one. Then we had $87,000 for the infields and $90,000 for the others. Uh, so with having a, a $750,000 project and because we were going to do the mobilization ourselves, that reduced that 5% down, there was still a difference of about $116,000 that had to be taken out of the budget. And at the time, what the uh, committee did is uh, it was all assigned to the playground. So because the playground was the biggest number, uh, that's where you took that out of. Um, so the playground being 386, you took the 116 out of that, which then left the 286. And that's how the 286-225 number came into play. Again, nothing tied into what the cost were, it was just all right, we got to cut this thing. We got to cut the seven hundred fifty thousand dollars back. We're taking out the mobilization. We still got one hundred sixteen thousand dollars to cut. Where is it going to come come out of? The committee put it in the biggest bucket. But what the committee also did is said, okay, we know that that may not be the best decision because we didn't spread it through all four buckets. Is um, in the in the motion the committee put together is that with the approval of the CPC. Uh, funds may be reallocated between each category at the request of the Carver Recreation. So, and, and then after that's done, then, then I go forward and implement this project like all other projects. So by breaking up the four buckets, you gave town meeting a choice. Do they want the project? Do they not want the project? Which elements do they want? Well, the town came back and voted overwhelmingly that we want all four. So they want the project and you guys gave them a choice, and they said, no, I don't want just one and two. I want all four of them. They voted all four of them. Um, so that being said is that of the 286, um, to date, um, with the equipment and the tie-in for the installation of the equipment, that's $220,000. So that's used most of the playground piece, and the delta that's left 
is not enough to cover putting down the resilient surface plus the fence going around there. I was able to get the sidewalk partially donated, so that material is going to be donated, but we got to pay somebody to lay it down. Um, so the bottom line, how the vote took place and how the money came out of that now does not allow the playground to go forward with putting in the resilient surface because we're out of money in that bucket from this piece. So that sounds doom and gloom. But the good news is, as I said earlier, the well, which is $20,000, is not going to be needed. Now that's in, in essence, the fourth phase of this that really wasn't going to be done until the end. So I won't know what the full savings of those items are until we get there. And we're currently working through both the ball fields and the playgrounds. And although those are coming under budget, it's tough to have final numbers. So I can't come to the committee and say, I need you to transfer 327, or it's too big of a number, $27,000 out of this category, 16 out of that, and 14 out of that to give me the money to do the resilient surface. I don't have that level of detail yet. Um, and what the Recreation Committee uh, authorized and requested was for this group to come back and come back and, and pull all the numbers back together again so that in a normal course of action, like when we did the $48 million elementary school, it was approved at $48 million. This committee put in $1.9 million and we were able to spend the $1.9 million and we did and we got it under budget. Normally projects are done as a lump sum and it's my responsibility as granted by town meeting is to, uh, to quote the words here, is um, uh, to expend such funds in the most fiscal responsible manner, manner and to manage the approved project from planning to design to procurement to negotiating contracts, change orders, blah, 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 blah. But it's into the most fidu uh, fiduciary, uh, physically responsible manner. As we all know, uh, my uh, good friends who's not here tonight always make sure that I follow that. <laughs> and, uh, and, um, and, and I've been successful with that on all the projects we've done. Uh, whether it's been the elementary school or whether it's been the uh, the ball f the um, the um, playground uh, that you guys recently found at the playground I'm sorry the the school a ball uh, turf field and that, but you can do the turf but everything else around that uh, and that also came in under budget so what I what I'm stuck with right now is a chicken and egg issue because the best intentions when you made those four votes you gave the town a choice they voted to go forward with it, so now it's still, it's, all, it's four elements of one project that are all going forward. But by taking it all out of the playground, it's kind of hampered me to move forward to the next phase and put into the rubber, the rubberized surface. Hence, the request for the vote to roll them all back up into one another like any other project, and like it originally was on the motion before it was broken out of the four, so that we can implement the project. And it's my job to make sure we bring this in under budget and implement it accordingly. Um, I will say the project's going to go over budget, uh, but that's why I'm getting donations so that, uh, I mean, the project was over, was over budget anyway because we, we, we had a budget of three fifty eight and we just had $600,000. And again, it, you said, come on, you work miracles, make it happen again. And, uh, and we are, um, but I just need to be able to work through the cash flow component in and that's not problematic at this point. So that's what the request is for the Recreation Committee, I'm sorry, for the CPC, is to support the Recreation Committee and um, roll A, B, C, D, and E, uh, A, B, C, and D up into one number for not to exceed $600,000. Can we make sure that the bathrooms are taken care of with that number? Uh, the Recreation Committee has already been on top of me, and I've already gotten emails from Jim just making sure that that's going to be. He was hoping it was going to be done this fall, and I explained where things were at, and I think he was comfortable with the decision that they're going to be open in the spring. Facility, facilities are important to me as well, so... <coughs> that's a pet peeve of mine, so... Yeah, I know. Yeah, we gotta, we're going to replace a bunch of the doors down there. Yeah, and that's, the yeah stuff it, it, uh, the bathrooms need work. Okay. We, we, always, we always understood mm -hmm. that. 
I, I anticipate I may have to go back to Capital Outlay for some more money through the reserve fund to finish this whole thing up, even with all the donations, just because of the delay that's happened. Mm. Um, but at the end of the day, it's going to be a real good project when it's done. So the request basically is to just <coughs> put everything in, into that, put up A, B, C, and D. Uh, Basically, if you add all those up, they come up to the 600K. Right. And basically, you just take them all and make them one. And, and an amount up. not to exceed. Right. Right. They so, were together, then they were pulled out, and we want to push them back together. So we need a committee vote to be able to to uh, make that change. Uh, the question, that, that consolidated figure will cover the resurfacing? The, yes. Yes, because I'll be able to go forward and move to make that happen. I, again, I'm still going to need to probably pull in some extra money, yeah. uh, but I, I can't do it now. Right now I'm stuck, because I just gave you the numbers, you know, where we are, and the resilient surface is more than what's left in that account right now, so right. I can't I can't do a contract for that. I can't put it down right now, because it's not cold, so we're no, not losing I, anything I was now. just going to say, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, you know, if, I, if, if you guys don't take the vote tonight, let me just play this out, and all of a sudden, Knock on wood, we get the miracle, and we get the the, the six days of the heat wave in 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 December. Mm -hmm. Then I can't act on it unless you guys have a meeting before then and take another vote at that point. I, I was just going to ask. So so is the the surface prepared to receive that the um, the surfacing? The, the, the surface is prepared to receive it. I think we're going to we were going to put the sidewalk in after, but I think we're going to put it in before now. Okay. Um, so. No, I take that back. To be perfect, to be correct, the surface is prepared right now to have the equipment installed. Okay. Once the equipment's installed, then the surface, then there has to be a layer of rock put down. Then the surface is ready. The rock could go down now, but it impacts when they dig to put the equipment in there. So we've held off on that two-inch layer of gravel or three-inch layer of gravel to go down there, which is half a day's work. So it's it's basically ready. But just to be technically correct, it's not ready today. And this relates to the agenda item that we have. This is any request for fund transfers to the playground account. So um, <coughs> it, it is on the agenda in terms of us being able to handle this. Um, <coughs> Can I say a few things? Sure. Three people, three very important people missing tonight. I don't think that we should be doing this vote. And secondly, there was a reason why that was put into four buckets. And now it was it was it started as one. We put it into four. Now you want it back in one. So Gail, to answer the question, there was a very good reason why it was put into buckets, but the reason why it was put in four buckets has been resolved. The reason it was taken from one number to four was to give town meeting a choice. Do they want to do the playground but not the parking lot? Do they want to do the playground but not the ball fields? That was why it was put into four categories. That was the only reason it was put into four categories when it went into town meeting. But I, I, I'm not sure if people at town meeting knew about all the things involved with each of those buckets to make that educated decision. Well, let me tell you, I think they were, and let me tell you why. It is because for each one of those buckets, because all my stuff is transparent, is when you go into the back of the warrant, there's the bucket of each one of them. This is what's in each one of them. It was all in there, all properly dis disclosed, so that the town meeting knew exactly what was in each bucket because we even had that up on the screen to show everybody what was in each one of the buckets and then we refer them back to this detailed piece in the back of the thing. So the point being is that the reason they were put into the buckets was political to give people a choice. The town meeting had the choice and they said do the, do the whole project. They didn't say just do items one and three, they said do all four. So that purpose has been resolved. Well, what about what um, Kevin just talked about? The bathrooms. The bathrooms. Where, it, where, where is that in, in those buckets? Sure. The bathroom is, I'm going to show you. The bathroom is in here, D. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's go back to this document here. Right. I'm going to show you where it is in D. Just because I want you to be comfortable with this. Oh, so do I. Yeah. So in D is concession stand and toilet upgrades, $30,000, which is part of the $90,000. Okay. 
So it's all in there. It's all been disclosed. We don't hide anything. We share everything. I had a quick question. Um, I don't know if this is an oversimplification of this, but if all four buckets were voted yay, does that not then make it one project again? It does. It, it nullified. It solved the pur purpose for it. I mean, for all, because for you all, for all up to, to, to 60,000. Because Kevin was one of the so from our, from our, you might have second um, uh, the, the motion said, from Fran to break it up into the four buckets because you wanted to give people the choice. Exactly. I think the chip. I'm sorry. It, yeah, it, it, I was I, at the time, and I still am uncomfortable about the idea that the playground next to the library is 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 gone. I think uh, the library is a perfect place to have a playground, but you know that's all. That, to me, that's all water under the bridge. We moved on from that. Mm -hmm. uh, town meeting voted to move it from there to there. That's how. That's how that is. Um, you know, I'm fine with that. And just to answer Dan's question, the A, B, C, A, B, C, and D, you know, we understand that, you know, as it, it all becomes that 600, 600K, but doesn't, doesn't, we purposely wrote the article the way we did so that we would make sure that we had act, oversight over each one of the, the buckets. Exactly. But uh, I do understand that the, the uh, how, how Michael's being hogtied in terms mm -hmm. of being able to spend spend money to be able to do do stuff on the playground when we haven't we haven't even got gotten close to being it to the to the uh, doing D. Yeah. And, and not to not to force you to be Nostradamus here, but are there some buckets that are more likely to have um, donations and additional help outside these funds than than others? Yes, and then that really falls into, now again, I said the, the well, we don't have to do the well, which is in bucket four, but in both the playground and in the parking lot, I'm sorry, in the ball field and the parking lot, I've gotten a lot of donations of materials that we were going to have to pay for. I've also had a lot of material removed that we were going to have to pay for, so there's savings in each one of those. Neither one of those on their own has enough savings to do the resilient surface. Together they do. And I don't, I can't close out those because I don't have the final numbers, and I won't for another month or so, or longer, for each one of them to roll that back there. And that's why I'm stuck to move forward with the resilient surface. Is this what Mary talked about? Um, poured in places instead of the mulch. Is that yes. what you're talking about? That's yes. correct. Yes, the rubbish. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because we talked about that last month. Yes. And, well, I mean, we should brought it up. Speaking to to your, your concern, Gail. Uh, I think we know where Mary stands. If, if you're using Mary as one of the three members that's missing, uh, I wish Fran was here, but mm -hmm. Fran wasn't here at the last meeting either. So we we can't just put stuff on hold until she can show up. Um, um, one thing I just want to mention—I'm sorry. To one thing I want to mention and to update Dan a little bit. Um, when originally we had the one budget, then we divided into four. Originally, I think we originally discussed maybe just do two, playground mm -hmm. and everything else, and then we want to yeah. get more specific, right. ball field, parking lot, miscellaneous, which is bathrooms, I think lighting was even thrown in there. Right. Because the main thing was we wanted to let the public decide, do they want this new playground? Because it was a hot topic, as you're well aware, mm -hmm. and everyone else is well aware, but we wanted it before town meeting because we didn't want to hide anything. So originally it was going to be two buckets, then we said let's break it down, so that's where the four came from. And like you said, once it was overwhelming we voted on, you really could make it one. But again, at town meeting, for town meeting purposes, we all wanted everybody to have an equal vote. And that was, uh, the playground was passed, so that's why it, um, you know, I think most people are comfortable with that now. But, um, and the other thing was, uh, you asked about um, donations and things, because I'm such a bathroom fanatic and bugging Mr. Malinowski uh, about this. I'm working on getting some donations for labor to, to some plumbers to do that and maybe even some of the material. So again, it's things you don't know until the you start asking people. So I feel comfortable on some you know, more savings down the line on that. Yeah, I was just wondering uh, uh, in that categorically in that I just wonder if uh, you know as we're getting into the colder months if there were some things that were or are going to be donated but are waiting in the wings because of the pending order um, and things that maybe would be project parts of the project that be executed more in the spring and warmer months. Mm -hmm. 
I was just wondering about that, but. Gail, did you have any more questions? Um, Did this explain it? Uh, no, that's fine. I don't have any there? more questions. I have some thoughts, but no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> some thoughts. So, I guess what Michael is asking us to do is to take um, A, B, C, A, B, C, and D, uh, and make, to make sure that this remains a not to exceed six hundred thousand uh, dollars, but allow Michael to be able to take from any of the, the four pots to facil facilitate the uh, ongoing construction work. I'm, I'm comfortable with that as long as the bathrooms get done because I think that's I think that's really important. Him on the bathroom. We gotta get the bathroom stuff. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that just, just coffee him on the, the, when you do in the bathroom. Like, yes, I got the bathroom. I have a feeling that's loud and clear at this point. Yeah. So we need a motion. Well, I mean, you know, joke about that, but it is important. And, yeah, and it, it especially is. if we're gonna have a showpiece playground. Yep. Because, exactly. Because everything that I see of this thing is gonna be beautiful. I mean, the equipment, you know, those pictures didn't do justice when you really see what it's gonna be. And you don't want to just have the, and you want to have sparkling bathrooms, handicap accessible. Right. With a door Absol being abs in, absolutely. Plus, plus it, it, it more accurately replicates what was taken away over at the library. The library had bathrooms in it. You can't just kind of take that element out of there because people use the facilities. Right. That's, that's how it is. Right. And, uh, and actually, we've discussed that too. These bathrooms will probably be open more than the library were. Perhaps. The library was closed. Well, there were times. Sure. Right. Sunday. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. So, um, did you get the I, gist of that? I would, uh, <coughs> I, would, I would make the motion to approve that. I'll second that. Okay. Motion is made and seconded. Okay. Any other discussion? I just have one. Uh, in terms of my voting status with this, because I wasn't involved with the actual. The initial vote is that at issue? No. Okay. Thank you. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Any abstentions? I guess the ayes have it. Should I say unanimously, Gail? Mm. Okay. Thank you, Gail. I'm glad I was able to answer your questions. <laughs> No, thank you, and again, because, you know, we, I was at a... You know how people. I feel about the money here at CPC in other places. Yep. As long oh. as it's... We're, we're watching that this year. Ah, let's hope. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Michael. Thank you all. Um, thank you. I'll take bills payable and uh, item four, which is status of the forestry account together, because uh, we did have still have money in the forestry account, and... We have a bill that was just handed to us from the Yard Wizard for uh, for doing something. Well, do you know what they did, Jim? That was the reseeding. Okay. So that was reseeding on, on, on the forest fields. Was that, that the re That was discussed. Yeah, yeah re-reseeding. That was the re -reseeding. It, it was yeah. discussed at the last meeting as having... Yeah. Seed, seed not having taken and so it needed to be reseeded and, right. and as long as we still had a little bit of money left in the forest street account we would be able to do it I know we've gone by recently but it looks 100 times better than it was before so it's being done right now okay it would look even better to see some kids out there wouldn't yeah. it I don't know what's going on. I well, guess the EEE -E -E stuff, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that's, that's a big thing. Yeah. And, and plus, we've been trying to tell people to stay off it because we wanted to take. Oh, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I know some of the couple of groups have asked, but we, we really wanted to. to okay. Because we're definitely short on field space in the, in the town, so. Mm. Good that point. Is, that's going to help a lot. Mm. Okay. Um, discussion of potential upcoming projects. I haven't seen anything uh, to A date. A conversation that I had with a gentleman, and this is very, very preliminary. Um, apparently there's a 55 plus development going on over at the 
I think it's South Meadow Road. Mm -hmm. um, however, because they're doing the number of units they are, um, they've, they've bumped into an, an inclusionary rule that, that forces them to designate a certain percentage of their a certain percentage of their development as affordable. Now, some, some hurdles that this, this particular developer is going to need to get past is what they would like to do is they would like to transfer the affordable units from the development they're doing in the 55 plus to a different site. Um, uh, this came to the North Cabo Water District because for some odd reason they would like to run a water main all the way from where it is on Green Street all the way up to Silver Street. Um, they did not seem phased by the idea that they would have to run nearly two miles of water main. Um, so, and I, I did tell them, I did tell him because this is going to be a full affordable complex. It's, this is, this is what this, this is, he described it as a friendly 40B. I don't know how that works. The words don't really work together. Um, in my opinion. However, um, that, that is how it was described. It was simply a thumbnail sketch of a concept that looked something like a site plan. So we're, we're in the very, very earliest stages of any potential on this particular affordable project. And they project. Want, want to bring a main to Silver Street? They but, want to, they want to run the water main little... from where it is at the end of Green Street to where they need it to be at, uh, it's it's near the intersection with with Main Street, um, Ted Vaughn's property. I don't know if people know where that is or not, but it's it's um, Main, Main and Silva. Yeah, Main and Silva Street. So, but I thought you said South Meadow Road. That's where they want to transfer. The, they're doing a 55 plus over on over on. Oh, I see. South they, Meadow. They, have the they want to transfer the affordable the affordable units affordable. from the 55 plus on South Meadow Road to a, a, a different project. Mm -hmm. It would require them to do a transfer of development rights, which has never been used in this town before. We've had it on the books for, I think, 15 or 16 years, but nobody has ever used it. So there's, there's a, I think, a hurdle that they need to jump past. Um, Again, it's a tightly packed development on 10 acres of property, which is not something that this town has ever gone for in a big way. So I go down Main, then connect to Silva? Correct. And then go over to, what was, where was it going to off of Silva? Um, I don't, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually just before, yeah. be, be, be just before John Street. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, he seemed to know that it was he was going to have to run, you know, nearly two miles of water main, and wasn't particularly faced by the thought. Did, didn't appear to anyway. Oh, John Street. Okay, so that's right at the beginning. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so right off of that. Correct. So that again, there's a kind of a large scale affordable project that is right now in concept. How many units of affordable? Housing. Um, they're you know? fi probably 50 plus. They're looking for 9,000 gallons of water. No. How, how many? How many? How many houses? 50 units. 50 units. Okay, but how many in the John's Pond area? I don't. I don't know how many. No, no. You're talking about this 50 down in South Meadow. I don't. I don't know how many units they're doing down in South Meadow. Okay, but South you say how many units? In this area that's he's, asking for the water. He's saying 50. Appro approximately, 50? yeah, approximately 50. Well, they, they wow. would, they, it would include, it would include, um, they would all be affordable units. Um, they would be weighted toward veterans and, and, and you know, other, other folks who <coughs> need affordable housing. Wow. We've, we've been playing around with that one house. We've, um, you know, have depth with humanity, Correct. and now we're going 50. Well, I mean, again. Ooh. Come on, Gil, have some gusto. Let's go big. You know? No, it's... I, again, I, 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 this, this, it, 
That's true. Yeah, there's your house right there. I it's, see it. It's just in concept. <laughs> I'm sh I'm sure that these I'm sure that these like folks right, don't right, know that they can right make this happen. Anymore. Uh -huh. <laughs> you don't like your right your neighbor right now. <laughs> so I just just you, just man. putting it out there as as a, something that was discussed at a at a water district meeting. Um, it would be a 40B development. So uh, just. And even with that, then everybody along that road would then get a, they would have the privilege for them to be able to cut. Um, no, they would, they would still have a privilege fee. Well, they even have to, to, to connect, to, to connect to okay. the, to the district, they would have to pay old debt. That's right. You're right. So yes, anybody who wished to connect to the system would still be required oh. to pay privilege fee. Because you've got houses, like, what are they, five, Six hundred thousand back there, on that road. I don't know what yeah. people get for houses nowadays. Well, no, I, I work. Oh, on, I work. This is I work. In, road. This is up across the street. This is on the other side. Oh, okay. That, I, yeah, I, I work in ridiculously expensive houses every single day. I have no idea what okay, people. I, know what I have no about. idea what people pay for houses. Yeah. Okay. Is it ten acres over there? Okay. It is. It's approximately ten acres. So. Yeah, I'm sure he butts back up onto uh, Gary Weston's property. That's mm -hmm. what it looks like, yeah. Yep. Okay, that's that side. Yeah, yeah it's on that side. Went right up there. For the old Silva. He got the cars. Mm -hmm. He, he butts onto, lines. probably onto Waterview, and on the, one the, side, yes, and the, uh, yes. Gary Weston on the back. I believe, I believe that I, that's, I believe that's Ted Bond's property. Yeah. That's, Speaking of housing, too, and, and I don't think we're going to have anything ready for this year's annual town meeting, uh, but with some enhancements that we're looking to do with uh, some of our social programs in town including veterans and others um, we are going to be in a position we think in 2021 in the calendar year 2021 to roll out some additional housing programs um, that could also be utilized this as well right uh, but I don't have anything tangible on that so but my point is we know that that's the biggest um, piece that you guys have had that you've been able to put a project together. Mm -hmm. But I am confident that some of the components we're moving in town right now are going to open up some opportunities. There may be a chance that we're ready for this year's town meeting, but the problem is you guys will want to review it now and in November and December, and I don't think we have anything in November and December. You know, if we had something to start to really flesh this out, it's probably going to be January, February, and you wouldn't have a hearing in January, so I think we're going to miss this round. Um, but there is a effort within the town government to move forward in that direction. And I think, as everybody knows, we've held off on that because of other things going on. I mean, the building boom we've been doing for town buildings and stuff, um, and with staffing, but um, we've staffed up or will be staffing up to move forward with that. Okay. Um, do we have um, historic? Is there anything in the historic pipeline? Not at this juncture. The yeah, last, last not, one. Not at this. Not at this point. Came in was uh, saving more for for uh, Union Society. Yep. Uh, but we've we've asked him to come up with come in with something much more detailed than what he what the general plan was that he had, mm -hmm. and he hasn't come back yet because I. I will at that point, if he comes back with something more detailed, I'll then run that by uh, Stuart Saginaw at the Community Preservation Coalition because mm -hmm. cause of the whole church. Church stuff, yeah. Church and state. And Stuart seems to be very much up, up on that, so I, I can get some free quasi-legal <laughs> response. Right. right. And since we haven't had any historical projects in a while, it's, you know, it would be, you know, we're starting to build up on that fund also. Mm -hmm. That's to the public, too. <laughs> um, any other issues? Anything else? Okay. Um, let's see if we're going to the next meeting. And I'm sure that the next meeting, the next, the fourth is one, two, three, four.
Fourth is Thanksgiving. It's going to be Thanksgiving. Yeah. We won't be doing it on the 25th. Thanksgiving comes late this year. How's everybody with the 21st of November? Good. HDC meets earlier that week, so I may have some information about whether the new membership okay. would. Uh, I'm available. Jim, 21st. Yep. Dan? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and we'll uh, plan on the uh, next meeting for the 21st of November. Same time, same place. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, if you have, can you have an update on what the Historic Commission wants to do? Yeah, uh, well, I'll talk to them about it, see what they want to do. Okay. Any other business? Do I, do I hear a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed. Thank you all. Thank you.